Hi best buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy you've joined me today. Today we're going to make some easy mini envelope tabs. But first let's have our shout out to Kathy, Teresa, Karen Beth, SG, Joyce, Les, Nancy N, and Laura. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right you guys, we've made something very similar but the way we decorate it and the way we use it is going to be make it totally different. So you're going to need some strips and these strips can be anything but an inch, two inches, an inch and a half, to anywhere from six inches to this one happens to be seven but I think I'm going to take it down to six just like that. So let's go ahead and let's ink around the paper all the way around the edge on the inside and the outside. And then what we want to do is we're going to want to fold these two tips downward to make a point. So this is a cardstock. You'll want something firm, not too flimsy. So there we are. And then we're going to fold this down just a little ways here just like this. Okay, so we're now we'll fold it down. Now we're going to fold this point, or this part, the end, up, just like that, and we're going to crease it. Just like that. Now I am going to ink just a little bit since we've done some folding. And now I have made some ruffles, some fabric ruffles right here. And I think I'd like to use this pink one. Now I have made a few that I'll show you at the end. I have stapled this fabric ruffled on, I have glued it, and I've sewed it. So there's many different ways that you can get this fabric ruffle onto this. This is sewn on the machine. I did sew that on the machine. And I think I'd just like to take a little bit of glue and just put it right on the flap and just glue this right on, just like that. Now we're going to want to glue it so that it sticks up. We want it to stick up from the paper itself. I'm going to trim this, just like this, give it a trim, get the strings off, so there. Now you can see it sticks up. I am going to glue, glue these flaps down right here. Okay, get this glued down just like that. Now, I have some lace here that I'm actually going to fray, but I'm going to measure just a little bit. I think I'll cut it right here, and I'm going to just fray it. Just pull it apart, and we'll pull this apart right here. And then I'm going to lay this maybe about right like this on the, on the flap, and I'm going to put some glue down. Just glue that right on, just like that. Stuck to my finger. Okay, so now we look like this. Then let's get a little label. Let's see, I think I might need a smaller label than what I have right there. I might need a smaller one shorter one. Where's a shorter one? I don't think I want damaged. I don't think I want it to say that. Uh, let's see. What can we find here? Hmm. I'm still a little big. Oh, how about a circle? That circle's adorable. Let's use a circle. Okay, so Let's go ahead and ink this up just like that. And let's 
see about a little flower like this one. Maybe we can fold it so this part of it is there. Let's do that. Let's fold that in half. So we just have a touch of the flower to get this folded first. Like that. And let's put that on just like this. There we go. And then let's get our label on there circle label. I really like that. I think I'm going to put the glue right on the material. And the hot glue is nice because it's instant glued. <laughs> and it's just instant and I like that. Don't have to wait for it to dry. Oh my goodness. Isn't that adorable? Now, how can you use these? Here we are. I've just got a sack here that I've embossed, but look, you can put it on the edge of a paper. You could put it on the top of the paper. They are held down. You can just either just put it like a, a top, a topper. You could do that, or you could get a small paper clip. And you can see which side will clip. I think it's this side that might have more room. You can just clip it. Excuse me. Okay, that tickle in my throat got to me. You can just clip it right on. All these have been clipped like that. So then you can take them off and then you can journal inside be a, like a secret journaling spot. Oh you guys, I absolutely love these. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.